Hi, I'm Tiffany Roth, and you're watching Fit, Fierce, and Fabulous. This is a show that is dedicated to you, all of my fans and subscribers. Today, we're having part two of the most frequently asked questions. I get so many questions all the time, I want to make sure that I address them, so I bunch them all together, the ones that you guys ask me the most, and that's what I'll be answering today. Okay, question number one. How do I get rid of my love handles and flatten my lower tummy? Wow, everyone asks that question. Now the first thing I wanna say is you have to understand what love handles are. Love handles are just fat, extra fat, that is distributed over your waist. So how do you burn fat? You reduce the amount of food that you take in that has a lot of fatty calories in it, you exercise your body to burn more calories, and then you work the muscles to tone up that area where that fat resides. So there's three things. I have designed an incredible workout, which you guys know and love, called the 10 Minute Booty Shaking Workout. And what is so great about that workout, along with bikini abs and get your sexy back, is that they target those oblique muscles. They target your body as a cylinder. Sometimes people just wanna work one part, but you're actually one whole core. Think of a cylinder. And in order to get the best results, you have to work the front, the side, and your lower back. And once you tighten those muscles up, and you do it in such a way where you're burning lots of calories and having lots of fun, then you'll notice the fat start to shrink away and the muscles start to shake. The second thing is, is that there are certain foods that you eat that cause your body to inflate and they, it gets like a lot of um, bloating in the love handles area. So I've talked about this before and I will say it again. If you want to shrink your waist, you have to reduce your intake of bread, sweet, sugary things, pasta, and white rice. It's that simple. You do those things, my workouts, watch what you're eating as far as the starches go, and you'll watch that waist go, mm, super simple. Okay, uh, next question. Is it better to lose weight first and then tone up afterwards, or can I do it both at the same time? A lot of times people think that, you know, well, when I start working out, I don't want my muscle, to, my fat to turn into muscle, my muscle to turn into fat. And I have to tell you guys that it's two separate entities. You have the muscle, which is actually a fibrous tissue, and the fat, which are like cells that either grow or shrink. They are separate, they do not connect. When you stop working out, what happens is your muscles shrink, they atrophy because you're not using them, and you usually gain more weight because you're still eating, and so you feel like, oh my goodness, my muscle turned to fat. That is not the case. So if you wanna get the best results, you wanna increase your muscle tissue, that means you work out, you do your lunges, you do your squats, you do your bicep curls, you do your sexy back workouts, and then you watch what you eat so that you're not putting additional fat on top of the muscle. So the answer to that question is do them both at the same time. Tone up while you're losing weight and that way you will be in much better shape. Last question. Ooh, actually there's two more questions. This question, let me tell you, if I knew the answer to this, I don't even know if I would be on this show. I would be like more rich than Bill Gates or whoever. How do I firm my boobs? Okay, <laughs> women, we just talked about what fat versus muscle is. Your boobs are mostly fat. And when your body reduces your body fat, your boobs do shrink. I hate to be the bearer of that very honest and truthful news, but it's true. When you lose weight, your body burns fat wherever it is, your breasts are fatty tissue and they do shrink. What can you do about it? There are some things that you can do to help keep your tone. Right underneath that fat is a layer of muscle. They're called your pectoralis muscles. And you can work those muscles to give a little bit more support to your breast area. And that's where I have the boobs up tummy tuck workout or the chisel chair challenge to help you do exercises that will keep those muscles toned and tight. But for the most part, you have to realize that, you know, love your boobs how they are. <laughs> because it's really hard to, to change and shape fat itself. The only thing that you can change and shape is the muscle. And the last question, what is your inner circle? 
Okay, I'm always saying, join my inner circle, join my inner circle. And maybe none of all of you understand what that is. It is a membership club. It is what people do when they want to be a part of a community, when they want to work with me directly, and they want to plan. They want to know, okay, what should I do each day? What should I be eating? And how do I stay motivated? And who's gonna tell me if I'm on track or if I'm off track? All of those things are what I did, and I created this beautiful circle of people from all around the world working together to be fit, fierce, and fabulous. And if you want to become a member of that, all you have to do is go to my website, www.tiffanyrobworkouts.com, and join. If you join the inner circle and if you follow my plan, I guarantee, I guarantee you will get amazing results. Okay, so that's it for this week of the most frequently asked questions, and I want you guys to know that I am reading all of your questions. I may not get a chance to answer them all, but I consolidate them, and I answer the questions that are very, very similar so that you all get the information that you need to be in the best shape that you can be. So until next week, stay fit, stay fierce, and be fabulous.